Hey guys, welcome back to my cooking world. So, happy new year to everyone. It's been some time since I did a YouTube video, I know. I have not really streamed much. Um, we'll go over that for a bit and then we'll get into the actual video for today. So, basically I took a break from YouTube and streaming just to get some health issues out of the way, which is all fixed now, sorted. And then, as you can tell in the previous video, I've changed my name. My name. There's going to be loads of difference. Is very soon happening. I've decided not to stream as much on Twitch. I want to focus more on my YouTube content. I've got a new blog website up and running. I'm doing that most days. I'll leave all the links to my, web, my new brand new website, which is going to be basically blogging. It's going to have quotes of the day. It's got links to my Instagram. It's going to have links to my YouTube videos. So it's basically it's going to be nice, nice place there. And also in the future, I'll add a page for recipes and stuff. So. That's about it. Hopefully everyone's had a, a good new year, a fresh start to, in 2022. So, like I said, I'm going to focus on YouTube more than Twitch on, for the streaming side just because YouTube is where I started. I really want to build up my YouTube community with you guys. So, today we're going to do uh, part one of a two-part two cooking series. So, today is part one, which we're going to be making fresh egg pasta. Nice simple egg pasta recipe it uses only two ingredients and that is it. And then the next video we're going to make a roasted red pepper pesto and then we're going to roll out our pasta. I don't know what I'm going to make, maybe probably make some tagliatelle and then do a red, pe red pepper pesto tagliatelle. Just a nice simple dish just to show the freshness of how much this pasta is good. So, like I said, fresh pasta we're doing egg pasta today, so it's two ingredients. So the first ingredient is eggs. I'm using three, egg, three whole eggs, and then the second ingredient is flour. With the flour, you can't just use normal plain flour. You use something called 00 flour. It's basically very, very super fine flour. It's like fine as possible, makes it nice and smooth, and that's literally it. Probably is a pinch of salt, and that is it for the pasta. So I'll show you how to make this egg pasta. And then in the next video, we'll make the red pepper pesto and we shall roll out the pasta and get a nice little dish together. So guys, like I said, all we have is a bit of 00 flour here. This is ultra fine sieved flour and three eggs. So nice clean surface. We are going to dump our flour. So spread it out. Make sure your surface is super clean with this. And then just cracking your eggs into the middle. Our three nice eggs. And like I said, I'm using a bit of sea salt here. Not a lot, just a bit. Pinch more. And that is it. So it's handy to have a pastry scraper here, and we're just going to get a fork, break those eggs up, and we're going to start incorporating the flour into the eggs. Pastry scraper. Get in over your hands as well. Basically, what you want to do is until you start to form a dough. If you don't have a pastry scraper, just use your hands, make sure it's all scraped. Pastry scraper are always a good thing to have 
if you like making fresh pasta, pastry. Just a, it's an all round good thing to have in the kitchen, I think. Like when I'm as a chef, I always have one of these in my back pockets. As you can tell, and it's slowly starting to form a dough. We are going to start to bring it all together with our hands. And now, as we make like we, as we make bread, we're going to start to knead our pasta dough until it's nice and smooth. It's on your hands, just to give it a nice rub. Want all of that off. And then now for the hard part, the kneading of the dough. So like bread, like I said, we need to knead this for five to 10 minutes. So it start, for, starts to form a nice smooth dough. do now is just knead this for about 10, 10 minutes so and then we'll come back so guys I've been kneading for a good five ten minutes as you can tell it's come together it's making a nice smooth dough so what we're going to do now is just we're gonna flatten this out we're gonna wrap it in cling film and let this go into the fridge Normally you let it rest for like half an hour to an hour and then you roll it out and use it. But we are going to keep it in there overnight. What what this does is it's just going to let, let it relax. And just chill out, go nice and soft. And then when we come to use it, we will give it a quick knead just to re-soften it so it's nice to work with. Then we shall put this through a pasta machine, which I do have. So you'll get to see the rolling of the pasta in the next video when we make our roasted red pepper pesto and make some taggy telly out of our beautiful homemade egg pasta. So what I'm going to do now is just wrap that in cling film and pop that into my fridge until we're ready. So guys, that is part one of the two-part video. So today we just made a nice simple egg pasta recipe. So like I said, I cling filmed it, put it in my fridge just to chill. So. We'll come back to that in the next episode. So in the next episode, we're going to do a roasted red pepper pesto. So roasted red peppers, some pine nuts, parmesan cheese, a bit of some garlic, a bit of oil. Get all that blended up. Make our pasta, cook the pasta, and combine that all together just to make a nice, beautiful, simple dish that shows the full flavour of the pasta and the nice flavours of the red pepper pesto. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, lots of changes to come. I'll leave all my links in the description, as always, to my new blogging website. I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave it, a link in there for my Twitch as well for when I do stream. I'll go, I am going to stream, but it's not very much like I used to do. So, loads of new videos come out very soon. Hopefully, you guys will have a wonderful start to your new year. Happy New Year to you guys, and stay tuned. I will be posting this video very soon, and then... I will be recording the next part two of it. There, yeah, I might do it tomorrow, get it over and done with and post it. So, thank you very much for being here, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. Always remember, guys, keep cooking, keep that food coming in, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.